Sometimes when... Sometimes when disaster... Sometimes, when disaster's at work, it's hard to hear and sort out information. Disaster's good at knocking out communication we rely on every day, like your cell phone, your landline, your laptop. You wouldn't. Even your television. But during a disaster of any kind, information is critical in keeping you and your family safe. So be sure to have your communication plan before disaster visits. Have an emergency supply kit and know where it is. And make sure that it includes a backup source of information like a NOAA All Hazards radio and plenty of extra batteries. And it's also important to include contact numbers, both local emergency numbers and contact information for friends and relatives. Print them out because your cell phone contact list is worthless if disaster zaps the power grid. And be prepared to gather information all the way through the disaster event. Hey, it's not all clear until you hear an official all clear. Beyond that, talk with your family, your neighbors, your entire community. Know their plans and know how to communicate in the critical times just before and after disaster calls. And in any disaster, there's strength in the numbers of your community and their plan for disaster response. When disaster visits, there can be a lot of noise, including the chatter of misinformation. Disaster might be all over social media, but you want to make sure that the information is relevant to you and your situation and is coming from a reliable source. Don't let disaster leave you in the dark or out of the information loop. Make an emergency kit and have a plan before disaster visits and be prepared to stay informed. Information and communication are the keys to keep disaster from getting the last word. Look up. Go to readync.org for more information. Be prepared on the go. Download the ReadyNC app for your mobile device.